Emotions, a book written by Viraj Nandurkar. This is Chapter 2, Sadness and Sorrow. In the heart of a cozy town called Riverdale, there lived a boy named Michael. He was a thoughtful kid with a quiet demeanor, and if you looked into his eyes, you could sense a touch of sadness. His mom and dad noticed it, and so did his classmates and teacher, Mrs. Anderson. One sunny afternoon, Mrs. Anderson decided it was time to have a little chat with Michael. Hey there, Michael. How's everything going? Mrs. Anderson asked with a warm smile. Michael hesitated for a moment, unsure whether to open up. Mrs. Anderson, sensing his uncertainty, spoke gently. You know, if something's on your mind, it's okay to talk about it. I'm here to listen. Encouraged by her kindness, Michael began to share the feelings he had been holding inside. He spoke about a persistent sense of loneliness, like a shadow that stuck with him even on the brightest days. Mrs. Anderson listened attentively, her caring eyes focused on the young boy pouring out his heart. After hearing Michael's story, Mrs. Anderson thought about how to make things a little brighter for him. She decided to bring a positive change to the classroom and, perhaps, to the entire town of Riverdale. The next day, she gathered the students and proposed a special activity, Share Your Feelings Day. Each student could express their emotions in their own way, whether through drawings, writings, or simply talking. Michael, initially unsure about this idea, found himself surrounded by classmates who were also opening up about their own struggle. It was a turning point for the class. The atmosphere, once tinged with a hint of sadness, transformed into a place of understanding and support. Michael realized he wasn't alone. Everyone had their own worries and fears. Feeling inspired by the positive change within the classroom, Mrs. Anderson decided to take it a step further. She introduced a project to spread kindness throughout the town. The assignment was simple. Each student had to perform a small act of kindness for someone in Riverdale and then share their experiences with the class. As Michael contemplated his contribution to this kindness project, he thought of Mrs. Turner, an elderly woman who lived alone nearby. He had seen her from time to time, and although she seemed kind, she also appeared lonely. Michael decided that bringing a bit of joy to her life could be his way of making a difference. One sunny afternoon, armed with a determination to spread kindness, Michael knocked on Mrs. Turner's door. Little did he know that this simple act of reaching out would mark the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Over the weeks that followed, Michael spent afternoons with Mrs. Turner. He helped her with household chores, listened to her stories, and shared moments of laughter. The connection between them grew stronger and Michael discovered a newfound sense of purpose in bringing happiness to others. As the class continued with their kindness project, the town of Riverdale underwent a remarkable transformation. Acts of compassion, initiated by the students, spread like a gentle breeze, turning frowns into smiles and quiet corners into lively spaces. Michael, once burdened by his own sadness, found a sense of fulfillment in being a source of joy for others. One day, as he looked around at the now vibrant town, Michael realized the profound impact that simple acts of kindness could have. The moral of his journey was crystal clear, sharing your feelings, being kind. Michael learned that happiness isn't only found in receiving support, but also in giving it. Underneath the starlit sky of Riverdale, Michael understood the true essence of kindness. The town, once touched by a bit of sadness, had transformed into a haven of shared joy. The lesson Michael took to heart was that in the grand tapestry of life, the threads of empathy and kindness weave a beautiful pattern of happiness for everyone involved.